everybody. Thanks for joining me again. We have another Pepper Pod review. Um, this is a Scotch Bonnet Pepper. It tops out at 350,000 Scoville units, which is the same as a Habanero, which for some people may not be that hot, uh, but for me, Habaneros, I, I don't know what it is about Habaneros. Um, I don't know if I have a slight allergic reaction to them or something, but they just grab a hold and they hurt me. I don't know why. Um, these are supposed to be the same thing, just wrinklier and fruitier tasting. Uh, we're about to find out. Um, they're called Scotch Bonnets because they resemble, and I'm going to butcher this name, the Tam O'Shanter hat or the cap that the Scotsman wear. It's that, it's that round cap with a ball on top of it. That's where this gets its name. Um, it's not a real popular pepper around here where I live. Um, you don't see them very often. Actually, that's not true. You, you see them more now than you used to. Um, they are getting more popular. Um, I have two of them here. I have the red one and the yellow one. I don't think there's supposed to be any difference in the heat or flavor of them, but we're about to find out. Let me cut into this and I'll give you a look at it. I have got to get a cutting board. Again, it's a pretty juicy pepper, thin walled pepper. If you can get a look at that. Not a lot of pith or placenta in there. I'm not sure if that's good or bad. But the color, the yellow color is really neat. I like that. It's a bright, vibrant yellow. Most things in nature, when they're colorful, mean don't, don't touch me, don't eat me. I imagine it's the same for this. Let me cut this stem out here before I eat it. But, uh, yeah, for whatever reason, habaneros kick the crap out of me um, more than other people. And from what I understand, this is basically a habanero. There we go. Not super seedy, but let's take a bite. <coughs> it's hot, but it's also sweet. It is a sweet a sweeter version of a habanero. That's a, a fruity sweet. Um, almost like apple, apple sweet maybe? Kind of odd. I get an apple, a hint of apple fruitiness in here. Um, this partic particular one, <laughs> while it's hot, isn't as hot as a lot of habaneros I've had. <laughs> but it's having that same effect on me that habaneros do. They uh, grab hold of my tongue and just do this with it. <clears throat> they don't let go. They hit me pretty hard and pretty fast. This is no different. Um, not bad though. If you like uh, the mango habanero sauce at Buffalo Wild Wings, for instance, you would probably like this. Uh, this would make a good sauce. This, the sweetness of it. Um, the burn is probably higher than your average person can handle. Um, for a pepperhead, this is nothing. I'm not a pepperhead. But uh, let's, let's try the red one here. The heat doesn't seem to stick around super long. It's already going down. But this is, uh, I picked the yellow one probably, I don't know, three or four days ago out of the garden. I just picked this like minutes ago. We'll see if that makes a difference. Again, I'll cut this one open here so you can see it. If I don't cut myself first. It's got that bell shape to it, which is really neat. It's different. I don't know if you can see that. A little seedy. And it's uh, a little juicier than the uh, yellow one. But like I said, this is minutes old. <clears throat> I just picked this. And cut this stem out of this one here too. 
Um, part of the reason I cut these peppers open is sometimes you can find little residents in them. Um, I've heard of people finding worms and different kind of bugs living in peppers. That's why I'm not real keen on just taking a bite at them or just eating them whole. I like to cut them up a little bit first just to see if anybody's living inside. All right, here's the red one. This is more seedy actually than the uh, yellow one. There's about half a pepper here. Let's see what we got. That one's actually a little bit sweeter. <laughs> it's a little more potent too. Holy cow, went right to the back of my throat. So freshness counts. <clears throat> But again, it's not murderously hot. <clears throat> got that same, <laughs> got that same sweetness. <clears throat> but I'm guessing because this is fresher, like very fresh, it's uh, got a hold of me right here. <clears throat> um, whew, starting to sweat. Excuse me. No burps or hiccups. I don't typically typically get hiccups though. But this one is warmer. I don't think it has anything to do with it being a red one as opposed to a yellow one. I think it's the freshness of it, though. It didn't have quite the apple fruitiness to it. Um, whew, but it's hot. I, uh, that, that one is very comparable to a habanero. I can feel it kicking in right here. The back and the sides of the tongue are pretty well lit up. <clears throat> the eyes aren't going yet. There goes the nose. Uh, so they, either one of these will make great sauces. Whew. Pardon me. <clears throat> they, don't, they're not, they don't seem as harsh as a typical habanero. So if you can get a hold of these and you want to make some sauces, like maybe uh, substitute this for a habanero and whatever sauce, like a mango habanero sauce, put scotch bonnet habanero or a scotch bonnet. I can't talk. Sorry. A scotch bonnet mango type sauce be real good and it'll heat you up enough <laughs> it's heating me up enough thanks everybody for joining me tonight or today i appreciate you guys watching uh, remember to like subscribe share with your friends if you like the content um i'm open to suggestions tips on making videos and if you have any of those leave them down in the comments below I appreciate you coming. Thank you.